Barron, the 200-page report released weeks ago found issues that some say they've been working to fix. The review detailed how there is a lack of leadership from the current administration. Governor Andy Bashir hosting his usual team Kentucky presser. I was there and was the only one to ask him directly about this report. He says he's concerned over how the audit was done. My concern with this audit is it was done outside of normal auditing practices. Governor Andy Bashir reacting to the 200-page report by the state auditor's office. We asked for some changes in the last session and got them. And then we've asked for some things in the current budget that we have not received. He says that although they've worked with lawmakers, there is still more to be done. We asked for security upgrades at Breathitt, uh, Fayette, and McCracken that are not in uh, the House version of the budget. We asked for two female-only facilities in the dollars. Uh, to design and to build them. That's not in the current budget. In the initial House budget, they would have cut significant numbers of DJJ employees. Bashir says the report has errors in it. So there are at least two findings in this current audit that are just entirely wrong. The first is they say that there is no use of force uh, uh, procedure. I signed it into state law through emergency regulation over a year ago, and they could have found that through Google. Uh, the second is uh, this concept of having memorandums of understanding with local law enforcement. Adding that the audit reflects ways where everyone can improve, not just the administration. Adding it will take time and things won't change in a year. Now, as we move forward, one of the most important things that we have been doing that's mentioned in the audit and everywhere else is staff. The biggest uh, finding of the 2017 report was that we needed significantly more staff. Uh, but from 2017 to when I became governor, there wasn't one raise uh, or not a, any significant raise provided. I believe that folks working in our pre-adjudication detention facilities were earning under less than $30,000 a year for that tough job. The Juvenile Justice Department now looking for its next commissioner. The former commissioner, Vicki Reed, stepping down earlier this year, making Larry Chandler the interim commissioner. We've gone from 295 positions filled to 472. That's an addition of 177 spots. The audit definitely says we have to continue to hire and to hire more, and it is 100% right on that. You're also going to see an almost entirely different leadership staff than, say, from two years ago as we bring in people uh, first focused on ensuring a secure, safe environment. Bashir adds one of the main problems for disruptions was because of the placement of juveniles. Every time these were disruptions caused by people who are awaiting trial on a high-level felony. And so when we uh, separated those that are accused of committing lower-level felonies from the higher, what we saw in the lower-level facilities was the disruptions almost fully ended. The governor adding it will be some time before any changes are seen. We don't run away from problems, we run towards them. And we are going to get this ship righted and we are going to create the safest environments we can. The audit was done for the eight regional juvenile detention facilities across the Bluegrass. They're located in Adair, Boyd, Breathitt, Campbell, Fayette, Jefferson, McCracken, and Warren counties. Now you can see the full audit online in this story at WTVQ.com. Anna Medina, ABC 36 News.